we thank God for his goodness and mercy. And uh, we really appreciate God for uh, what he is doing in our generation. God is um, a covenant keeping God. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the great I am. He is a covenant keeping God. He does not change. Um, situations and circumstances in the world will change, but God does not change. Hallelujah. Um, I know there is a lot of panic, you know, about what is happening in Israel. Uh, when that war broke, when that war broke, uh, I just had the Spirit of God tell me uh, that it, uh, it is a call for back to prayer, a call of back to prayer for the remnants of God's people. Because many other times, you know, we, we just live. And uh, you remember the, the, the people of God, the nation of Israel was caught unawares. They were not aware, they were not prepared. And so many of them were, you know, captured and they were tortured. And, uh, you know, there were a lot of, uh, you know, uh, many, you know, many deaths, many deaths that, uh, you know, were not expected, you know, because the, the attack was not, um, was not planned for, the, 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 the nation of Israel was not uh, prepared for that. And so this is a call for prayer. This is a call for prayer. This is a call for prayer that, uh, we know, we, we, we maintain that readiness. We maintain that readiness, even, uh, you know, and the Spirit of God is speaking to me where I'm seated, and the Spirit of God is reminding me the story about about the five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins. So we should be ready as the church of Jesus Christ in this hour. We should be ready. We should be ready uh, because, uh, you know, uh, that attack was not uh, was not prepared for. And, uh, you know, the Israelites were not uh, prepared for that. Uh, so we should, we should be ready and we should be ready. Number two, it's one of the signs of end times. Uh, you remember what the Bible says. I don't have time to go that direction. One of these days, God allowing me out take us through the history or the story i mean not the story the history uh of what will transpire you know touching israel in this end time so that when we see one two three things we may not panic uh instead it should cause us to maintain readiness even as we prepare for the second coming of jesus christ but one thing there is is israel is you know is in the heart of god those people belong to god my god those people belong to god and uh, they are not about to lose their battle they cannot lose it no matter how many nations rise against them uh you know uh you, you know many people will say uh like what they have say we have heard about the workings of your god hallelujah these people cannot be defeated uh but we are in any times and um you know matthew 24 is clarifying this we shall hear much of these rumors of war not only rumors of war we shall see this you know like what we are seeing now we shall see this and this is going to touch ground, you know, in so many nations of the world, you know, all of us are going to feel it and see it and witness the fulfillment of Matthew 24. Every portion of that will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, what brought me on board is, um, my nation, Kenya, what brought me on board is my nation, Kenya. And um, uh, we shall not keep quiet. We shall not keep quiet. And uh, we shall keep speaking as the Lord is giving us utterance. And we shall address things as the Lord is allowing us to address them because uh, we have to speak out. We have to speak out and, uh, you know, let the nations of the world, I mean, not no, let the, uh, the nation of Kenya know who she is and what God has desired for the nation of Kenya and what God, you know, purposes to see, you know, um, coming to pass for the nation of Kenya because why Kenya is a beloved of God. Now, um, last Sunday, today is 15th, that was on 7th, that was on 7th, uh, because uh, now that was on 8th, uh, that was on 8th, that was last Sunday. Uh, when I was preparing, uh, that was on 8th October, when I was preparing to go to the house of God in my house, the Spirit of God just told me the government of Kenya has diverted from the court.
course the the uh, the government of Kenya has diverted from the course now where are we where are we getting here and what is happening and what uh what is the desire of God so I'll be handling all those things all together this night it is night of the 15th day um of uh, of uh, October 2023 now when a diversion comes that means uh there is a turning aside there is a turning aside uh you know from a cause that is to be followed there is a turning aside uh, from a cause that is to be followed if i had clearly if i had clearly uh when uh, during the inauguration of this current government i had even the head of our our current head of state saying you know him getting there it's not his own power or working but it is the prayer it is the prayer and uh, i remember him thanking the church and even uh, you know summoning the servants of god you know from all over the country that were summoned you know in the state house so that they can go and give thanks and to <laughs> to make it worse or better you know they were called on a sunday mm -hmm. i still have a, a bone to chew about that uh we shall talk about that later you know and uh, the servants of god including the fathers of our of faith in our nation they gathered to give god thanks so there there anybody looking from a very far uh they can see you know that the, the current government is attributed you know i mean it is so much connected to to the church and uh, then when the people open up their mouth and they profess to be born again if there is the expectation not only of the church but also of the people who are not born again the people who are not um you know who are, who have not confessed Jesus Christ as their personal savior there is such an expectation because why when god has placed us in some of some of these places of authority whether you know in whatever you are doing every day in your life i'm not talking to all of us as as believers you know there's that expectation there is there is a direction even if it is political even if this is what we are seeing you know to people like joseph in egypt people there were worshipers of idols but what do we see the life of joseph of godliness is not diverted. You know, we are seeing people like uh, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in Babylon. They are, oh, they, are, they are people who are godly, but they are in Babylon. So the Babylonian spirit is not diverting. You know, these uh, these people who are godly, you know, they cannot scoop to, uh, to follow the Babylonian spirit or to, to follow the decrees and the declarations of the, of the king or of that country. And uh, there are so many other stories in the Bible, uh, and these stories are written for our example that look at someone like David and this is why God calls David you know man after my own heart anytime David uh, diverted from the cause and he was even rebuked by a prophet what do we see he's humbling himself and uh, one thing you realize uh, the prophets of those days you know they were not uh, they were not made making with the kings uh, they were not they were only sought after when it was necessary when the council was needed or when God sent them you know it, it was that it was very that sensitive and then the demarcation between and uh, you know the servants of god and the and the, the state or the the king you know it was very very clear and uh, you see like what is happening to saul and samuel the assignment of saul is very clear you know the prince of saul is very clear and the prince of samuel is also very clear and this is why when um you know the government after now taking position god sent a word and we we spoke it by you know by by every mean i mean by by all means in our small way and we say now church it is not time now to rejoice and merry make up there now the lord is saying retreat go back to your praise go back to your position you have you have prayed you have done whatever you are supposed to do have voted now go back to your position and allow the state learn the affairs of the nation and uh you know this is where uh you know um you know that the respect of the church will come in when the, when the authorities of the day they can be able to reach out to the to the authorities in the church or to the leaders of the church you know and, and consult you know in matters godliness or godly counsel you know where 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 need arises hallelujah but when 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 now there is no difference between the state uh, and the church and it becomes very difficult when uh, when when the state you know when the authorities in a state you know they can easily eat with the one 
one, two, three people, you know, and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, these are the people they're supposed to be getting counsel from. It becomes very difficult for that person when you marry make with the king, when you eat the delicacies of the king, it, particularly as a prophet and as a apostle, as, as an apostle, it becomes very difficult for you, you know, to correct that person because why you you lose your ego, you lose your ego, you know, you lose your ego touch, you know, you lose, you lose your spiritual touch, and that's why you realize uh, people like Prophet Elisha, Prophet Elijah, and, and all those prophets of, of the old, you never saw anywhere they sat down to dine with the kings, and uh, when they, they were supposed to correct, they corrected. Hallelujah! You know, when when uh, when Micaiah is is speaking to the king, something different from all the other all the other people who are someone to speak to the king, you know, and he speaks something very different because why there was no prior, you know, very intimate. Uh, allow me to use that word, you know, you know that that very close, you know, a uh, uh, connectivity between the man of God uh, and the pro, uh, I mean, and the and the and the, 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 the king of the day. Hallelujah! And uh, this man is studying around and studying out to speak the counsel of God, and uh, you know, and what he said came to pass. Hallelujah. And what he said came to pass. And this is why you realize, you know, there are so many times the you know, men of God corrected, uh, I mean, instructed things by the counsel of God. And when the kings of the day erred from that, they suffered the consequences. Hallelujah. You know, they suffered the consequences. And that is it. Hallelujah. Because why? Where God is, you know, there is, there is, uh, there is, there is, um, you know, there is the flow of, uh, of, um, of righteousness, the flow of holiness, because God is holy. You know, God is holy. So, uh, so there, there is a diversion, uh, there is a diversion and what we are seeing, um, and what we are going to see is the fruits that are not godly. The fruits that are not godly. The fruits uh, that means the government will continue governing. But the, what we are going to see as the church, you know, some of the things we are going to see, we wouldn't want to be associated with it. We wouldn't want to be associated with them. Because why? That is not what, you know, that is not uh, the foundation of the God we worship, you know. And, uh, you know, so diversion is, um, you know, uh, you know, turning aside from the cause that is to be followed. You know, change of direction or an, or, or an alternative route, change of direction or an alternative route, route. it a means to deflect. You know, diversion means to deflect. The other thing is to allow distraction from the main business or the main purpose. You know, this is deviation from a set route, you know, or, or from a set cause or a set route. Amen. This is, uh, you know, where you allow the devil to maneuver, you know, the maneuver of the enemy to turn your focus away from the main point of action. No, this is, uh, you know, to deviate from God's original plan or purpose for one's life. You know, when, uh, when, when there is a deviation, I mean, uh, you know, from God's original purpose, that is a purpose or, or plan, you know, uh, you know, that is diversion. That is diversion. Hallelujah. Now, in, in the Bible, I'm going to give us some few, few examples as the Lord has allowed me. Uh, in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 13 and verse 13, we see, you know, Saul, so, uh, it is God, you know, the children of Israel had, uh, you know, had, um, requested for a king and God allowed it through Samuel and what do you see uh, when God uh, you know when God is introducing uh, you know um, so I mean Saul so to, to Samuel what do you, you know what do you see you know there is the you know there, the, um, you know there is what God has seen in the life of this man and it is written clearly in the word of God now the same God who had seen I mean seen these attributes of a king in the life of Saul you know when Saul David I mean David or when he diverted from the cause, from the original purpose of God, the same God, hallelujah, has released an evil spirit in the life of that man. So what do you see in the, in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 13 and verse 13? You know, Saul's life and his destiny was diverted and David took his place. Hallelujah. Because why? God will never lack a replacement. God will never lack somebody to start in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a place where, where his agenda gender is supposed to be accomplished in whichever, de I mean, in whichever generation or to, to whichever people. God will never lack. If God has a purpose somewhere, he will always get somebody to start or, or somebody to use. 
in that particular praise. Hallelujah. So we see David is taking the praise of Saul. Hallelujah. And you will see even the coming up of David is God's own making. You know, it is all about the process of God. So we see in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 20 to 27, uh, we are seeing, you know, Gehazi, you know, this was a servant to a prophet of God. What do we see? You know, I, I mean, the man of God has done whatever he was supposed to do. And, uh, you know, Gehazi, uh, you know, and the man of God has released, you know, um, uh, this Naman, I mean, uh, Naman, you know, the man of God said, no, it is not time to receive gifts. And what do we see? Gehaz is going behind, you know, the back of the man of God. Uh, I mean, uh, failing to notice that the man of God is a prophet. He can see. And what do we see? That that diversion, you know, from the cause and the uh, from the purpose of God, you know, because of his greed and selfishness. What do we see? You know, his destiny is diverted. His destiny is diverted. And you realize whatever, you know, Naman had cured from, you know, it, it now came, you know, to the life of Gehazi. Yet he was a servant, you know, he was a servant to the man of God. He was serving the man of God. Hallelujah. So deviation, or, you know, when there is a diversion, you know, uh, you know, there, there are so many things that come up and that they, they are not godly. They are not godly. Hallelujah. They, they are not very rosy. They are not godly and they are not very rosy. What do we see? Um, you know, and uh, when you look at that, that story of Gehazi, you see the last of the eye and the last of the flesh and the pride of life. You know, you know, it's, uh, Gehazi is wondering, uh, how can we let the silver and gold go? How can we just allow things to go this way? And you know, he's making a decision that is hasty, you know, that is causing a diversion in his life. Because why? You know, being a servant to the man of God, he was supposed to follow the rules and the regulations of whatever they, you know, they, they were called to do. So he was supposed to follow the footsteps of the man of God. If the man of God said, this is not time for us to receive gifts, that, it remains that, that, I mean, it remains to be so. So what do we see? The Bible says in the book of Judges 14, 3 and verse 16. You can save, uh, you can read uh, the whole of Judges 14, but my constitution is verse 3 and again uh, verse 16. So Samson, you know, you know, Samson, there, there, there was the original purpose of God in the life of Samson. There was the original purpose of God in the life of Samson. And uh, actually, remember, you know, God had instructed, you know, the mother, you know, not to drink bitter things, you know, so that, you know, this, this boy who was born a Nazarite may not be defiled even in the orb oh hallelujah and what do we see even he was not supposed his ear was not supposed to be cut and so what do we see when this man has grown up and knowing who he is he's now diverted from the cause and what do we see uh samson you know was messed up you know by uh, somebody he married because of lack of self-discipline and self-control self-discipline and self-control because when you are a nazarite there's a lifestyle you're supposed to have there's a way and that's why i'm saying the government that has come into the office through prayer and it has been confessed it's by prayer that we are here then there is a way things must be handled i know it is politics yes but then there is a way things should be handled there is a way things cannot be done there is a way things should be handled hallelujah so the, the i mean the diversion that has come in i'm requesting I'm requesting as a prophet of God in the nation, the people who are able to reach out to the president of the nation of Kenya and his deputy and their wives, let them be taught on the face. They have diverted from the cause. They have diverted from the original purpose. Why God gave them the, 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 the leadership of the nation. You know, they have diverted. That's why you are seeing people, I mean, things like LGBTQ in their regime within a very short time. You know, it has been, you know, such kind of things are not being mentioned in the nation. And you realize, oh, hallelujah, I love the issue, Mara. They are, rise, they are raising their voices, they are countering this. Because why? The help of the nation of Kenya will, from, will come from any quarter. Whatever is not God in the nation of Kenya, I told you from the beginning by the counsel of God, anything that will, I mean, anything that the current government will try to do against the counsel and the purpose of God will attract a lot of noise. We will attract opposition and noise from every quarter from every quarter and uh, the people who are supposed to be addressing this, if they keep quiet, this is what Mordecai is telling Esther, the help of the people of God, the help of the Jews will come from somewhere else because why God has so many vessels to use. God has so many vessels to use. Hallelujah. So we see uh, the destiny of, um, of Samson has been diverted because of lack of self-control and, uh, you know, self-discipline and self-control. You know, and, uh, and the last of the fresh, 
you know, and, and that is it. Hallelujah. So what do, what, what is the source? What is the source of diversion? What is the source of diversion? Now, diversion comes when we lack, uh, like, like, just like what I've said about Samson, when we lack, you know, discipline and self-control. Diversion comes when we lack, you know, the godly discipline. This is why you see people who stood firm, like Joseph, they, they have their self-discipline, whether they are in the vicinity of their father's house or not, you know, where they were brought up, they are maintaining the godliness. So that, that cannot not, cannot change. God gives uh, Joseph a position of influence. He becomes, you know, the first prime minister ever in the land of Egypt, you know, and he's a foreigner, somebody who was a prisoner. What do we see? We don't see him becoming proud and arrogant. You know, the godliness, you know, aspect is still in him. How do I know this? Even when the brothers are joining up, you know, we don't see him averging. We don't see him becoming proud and arrogant. Hallelujah. We don't see uh, Joseph, you know, taking advantage of the city of Egypt, we don't see him behaving, you know, in an ungodly manner. We don't see that, and then to an extent that, you know, to, uh, when when a Joseph is summoning the people of his father's house, including his own father, and giving him the best place, you know, in Egypt called Gosheni, Pharaoh is not complaining. Pharaoh is not complaining. Hallelujah. So, and uh, you know, <laughs> Hallelujah. So, lack of discipline and self-control. Number two, ignorance. So, what causes the the the, the, the diversion? Lack of discipline, lack of self-control. Number two, ignorance and broken. Number three, and broken curses, evil covenants, and broken curses and evil covenants. When the people, you know, have been prayed through, but they have they they, they have you know by the, the the back they have some evil covenants. You know, this can really cause. And, and I'm talking not only to the, I mean to the government, I'm talking to the entire nation of Kenya. I'm talking to the nation of Kenya. Hallelujah. So what can cause a diversion, even in your own personal life, when you lack personal discipline and uh, self-control, when you become ignorant, when you have unbroken curses, you know, when, and, uh, and there's some evil covenants, you know, uh, we have so many people who, who began in the Lord, but what they have done, they have now looked for shortcuts in their lives and they have gone for evil covenants. So that causes diversion. Hallelujah. You know, the other thing is unfriendly friends. When and Frederick friends, and let me tell you, my brethren and everybody, including the government of Kenya, we must be very, very careful about our local and international associations. We must be very, very careful about, uh, you know, about our associations because let me tell you, you know, if, if we, we are associating with the people who are not godly, that is where we, we, we want to go for help. And that uh, these people, when we go for help from them, they, 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 they put pressure on us. You know, we must now pass this. We must now do this. And uh, because we want to get any kind of a help or we want to please them, you know, and we want to remain relevant in the eyes of people, you know, we enter into some agreement, you know, and Frederick friends, people who are not going the direction of God, people who don't know, or people who do not know what God has promised us, you know, even as a nation. The other thing is that, uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, I mean, attacks by witchcraft, you know, the other thing that can cause a diversion are attacks from, uh, you know, attacks by witchcraft, because witchcraft and uh, witchcraft uh, brings on board enchant en enchantment and, div and, and divination, you know, and divination. And uh, let me tell you, some of the things people hear even uh, you know people who are seeking for counsel and the politicians some of, of you who are seeking for counsel some of you have received you know counsel from di diviners you know divination and and, 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 and enchantment and uh, this comes from witchcraft and uh, let me tell you witchcraft is a story and it is there you know and it can divert somebody from the cause because the minute you receive that kind of counsel you know uh, you know that, that counsel this is what we are seeing at the end of the day when so diverted from from the cause, what do we see? He's going to, to seek uh, counsel from a diviner. You remember that story, you know, where they are even calling someone, you know, to life, you know, on, 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 the, on their guide, they are calling the man of God who, who, who was long dead, you know, a, a prophet of God who was long dead, you know, so, so that is witchcraft and it, it comes with a divination and uh, an enchantment. So the other thing is household wickedness, household wickedness, household wickedness. This is what we are seeing. Rebecca and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Jacob are, you know, are able to die divert, you know, corrode. That is called household wickedness. They are able to corrode and divert, you know, the destiny of Esau. 
of Esau, sorry, hallelujah. This, this is a household wickedness, hallelujah. Samson has been diverted from his destiny, household wickedness, but somebody who he's married to, Delilah, now that is it, hallelujah, household wickedness, hallelujah. So you must be very, very careful about the people who are very close to you, about the people who are devising you, about the people you, you I know you are associating with, about the people you are eating with. You know, you may never know, you may never know, because let me tell you, the mess of the nation of Kenya and the diversion may not even be coming from very far. The people who are giving counsel just allowed, just allowed, you know, you know, even to achieve or to a, to a, to a, to a, to a, to a, to a RCS or somebody, you know, just the people around. Because why? You know, because why? Because maybe they, they have their own agenda, they have their own intention. You know, they have their own intention. But anybody led of God must be able to maintain consistency, like Joseph. You know, must be able to maintain consistent like Esther, must be able to maintain the consistency in, in the position of governance. You know, like somebody like Deborah, she's maintaining it. She's not diverted. She's not diverted from the cause. She's not diverted from the cause. Hallelujah. So what are the symptoms? Maybe I'll talk about two or three. The symptoms, the symptoms or the results of deviation or diversion, you know, from the cause. Hallelujah. This is where you see, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, where somebody, you know, and somebody is endowed, you know, or overshadowed. Somebody is overshadowed, you know, by powers. That he cannot, he or she cannot control. So somebody is just doing things. Somebody is just opening their mouth to say anything because why? You know, somebody is overshadowed by powers that they they are not, they don't have control over. You know, they, they have no control over. So you know, somebody cannot, you know, you know, somebody will just say anything or do anything because why? They they have no control over it. Number two, satanic satanic triggers in actions, satanic triggers in actions. This is where you look and see, my God, the result of this, this is purely demonic. The source of this is purely demonic. Number three, and this is why you see even people killing, you know, spouses killing each other. And when you look at this, you say uh, uh, another power was all in operation. You know, this is not, this is not a normal person. Hallelujah. So the other number three is that you see, uh, you, you, we have an broken covenant. And broken covenant, such as you know, corrective, you know, that, that, such as corrective, you know, captivity, such as corrective, uh, you know, captivity, blood, you know, covenants, ancestral and marine, uh, you know, marine dedication, and this is what you are seeing in our exposure, in our very own eyes, you know, and broken, you know, I, I know, and broken covenants. Hallelujah. So somebody is going this direction. And they were prayed into, maybe into that business, into that whatever, into that career. But because of a broken covenant, such as corrective captivity and, uh, you know, broad covenant, you know, because of something somebody had uh, indulged themselves before, you know, these things that were not broken. And you realize that even if, you know, a prayer was made as they move forward, those things now will begin haunting them and recalling. And make, I hear the spirit of God say, rain demands. Rain demand so and broken covenant such as corrective captivity, blood covenant, ancestral and marine dedications. So if somebody was indulged in some of these things before, so even if there is a prayer ahead, you know that has pushed that person when they cross over to a line, you know those those covenants will begin will bring. I mean, I will begin rain a demand because they were not broken. They'll begin rain a demand, and I pray for the nation of Kenya today. If there is any leader from the top seat downwards to the chief or the elder in a village, if you know anywhere this video is going to be watched, if you know you have you have you know an unbroken covenant, you know that uh, that uh, you know that uh, a corrective captivity, you know that that um, you know there you know it, you know we call it a corrective captivity or you know blood covenants. You know, and, uh, you know, ancestral and marine dedications. If you know you are a victim of that, my brethren, my fellow citizen, and in particular people who are in the church, if you know you indulge yourself in something like that before, kindly in whichever position God has given you in the nation, repent, call for a man or a woman of God you can trust in your life, confess it, let it be broken. Because why? It is going to spill out. And it is, it is, uh, let me tell you, but where we have entered into, there's nowhere to cover up anymore. It is gone, and let me tell you, the actions and whatever will happen to people's lives, outright it will show 
who they are. Because let me tell you, I know as, as I'm seated where I'm seated, we have entered in, into a season in the nation of Kenya where the true colors of people is going to be so clear. The true colors of people from up there going down, even in marriages, even in family levels, the true colors of people is going to be so eminent. It's going to be so clear who a person is around your life and anywhere. Even the government of Kenya, the true colors. And I'm preparing the nation of Kenya for year 20, from, from October. Because October is a prophetic gate, a very prophetic gate. I don't have to go back to that. But from October going down to December 2025, the things that you're going to see, you will see the true colors of some of the things that were prayed into position. You will see their true colors. You will see the diversions. You will see them. Even in a, in a, in a church, you are going to see who people are in their true colors. You know, we have entered into a season where people are going to be their real them. You know, their real them. Hallelujah. And this will cause pain to some quarters. It will cause pain even in marriages. It will cause pain even in the companies. It will cause pain. And uh, in the course of that, we are going to have so many victims. Number two, we are going to have so many, uh, so many casualties, even as God is clearing way for his purposes in the nation of Kenya. So many casualties. So I've been preparing us for this because why God will ne never share his glory with any other. Number two, when God has spoken whatever he has said concerning Kenya, that whatever every word he has spoken cannot go back to him void. It has to accomplish his purposes. So that is it. Hallelujah. So the other thing you see is backwardness instead of promotional growth, backwardness. So and uh, I want you to check around backwardness instead of a forward move, backwardness. And uh, you're going to see all that. I know you, are, you know what, what is happening already you're going to see that number five uh uh you know you you, you know things that no one can uh, you know things happen you know that no one can 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 explain things that happen that no one that no one can explain you know so you know and uh as as i'm talking about backwardness the other thing you're going to see is slow down of progress and stagnancy so you know uh, slow down of progress slow down of progress now we had a promise of god uh from the month of october uh when the the current government took possession we had a promise of god as we were praying and we are still praying for the nation and god said from the month of october you know we shall begin seeing you know the nation recovering but now when god says there is a diversion what do you expect backwardness the other thing you expect is slow is slow, slow down in progress hallelujah and uh, you know lack of growth uh, you know because of the diversion that has entered into i'll give the i give i'll give you the remedy of this you know by the time i close i'll give you i'll give you the remedy of this because why you know when god has spoken you know, a thing there, there, there has to be a remedy because God is a father. God is a father. Hallelujah. So you see things uh, things happen that no one can explain. What is happening this way? Why is it happening this way? Nobody can explain. So the other thing is that, uh, you know, the other thing that, you know, that happens is that it attracts, you know, any diversion, you know, or deviation will attract destiny wastage. Destiny wastage. Number, f number seven, it will also attract terrible attacks. And that's why I'm praying for the nation of Kenya. I've been sending some messages, you know, that we pray, you know, against some attacks in the nation. And uh, let us, let, let everybody including the security authorities in the nation take charge of the nation the area of kenicom in nairobi the that bus stop area let the security authorities of the nation be be on the lookout the other day i had a vision i saw people running you know that bus stop area of a of a of a of a abazada abazada area you know abazada in the city of nairobi i saw a brass that was coming from archives and that allowed archives and uh, you know that that abazada area and i saw people were running were running escaping from a brass than that that uh, you know that had exploded there so let the authorities and anybody who was going to hear this i've sent these messages to the people i could reach where i where my small in my smaller way i sent when i had the vision i sent this message to one two three people i could reach in my life so anybody kindly tell the security authorities to be on the lookout and the other thing the lord spoke to me about this morning on sunday this morning as i was preparing to go to the house of god is about our um, 
our historical our historical sites now that the authorities the security authorities in the nation of kenya take guard of kicc take guard of some uh, historical you know historical sites like archives historical sites you know like uh like uh you know you know them like uh, like uh you know museum historical site that this historical site be guarded by the security of the nation historical sites of the nation you know i i don't have you know many of them they are not flowing my spirit so i i mentioned them but some somewhere like kicc uh, you know archives you know museum let this historical site in the nation even in other you know in other uh in other you know counties be be uh properly guarded you know properly guarded because why satan would want to hit historical sites of the nation of kenya so let us be on the lookout i have just you know had one two three areas where I, the lord has opened my eyes to see and i have sent a word you know to the people one two three people i could reach concerning the same hallelujah so you realize when a, when a, when a people are diverted from the cause you know it attracts destiny wastage and a lot of terrible attacks the other thing is that you know it makes you know one is one is able to make unexpected or unpardonable mistakes and errors you know one is able you know one is able to make i know unexpected you know an or unpardonable mistakes or errors you know and uh, you, you are like wow how did i do this and people are in pain they are not able to pardon you they begin hallowing curses and uh, and uh, all those because they cannot they cannot pardon you you know and so unexpected and unpardonable mistakes and errors you know this is a, as a result of deviation and uh, and uh, diversion from the cause of god in the name of jesus hallelujah now god had warned the church in the nation of kenya uh, you know, when the, when the government, you know, at the end of the day after the prayers and uh, when the government, the new government took over the office, you know, God want the nation, I mean the church in the nation and God, uh, you know, I'll, I'll ask the church to retreat and to go back to her position, to retreat and to go back to her position. And, uh, you know, because the Lord had want, you know, the way things were going from September last year, you know, 2002, God had want that the church is going to be adulterated. God had warned that the church of Kenya was going to be adulterated. And um, I don't know, I, I may not be following so many things, but um, uh, some signs are, you know, are not very, very godly. Some signs are not very godly. And, uh, you know, uh, in our smaller way, we expect there to be a voice that, that is recognized, you know, speaking for the church, you know, to rebuke and to correct one, two, three things in boldness, you know, and say the, the nation that, that is godly or the nation, the government that, you know, came in out of prayer cannot allow one, two, three things, you know, and it should be made public by the people who are able to reach, uh, you know, some authorities here and there, even if, in, even if it is a chief in, in your locality. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So the state and the, the, the nation and the church must know that there is a priest for the state and there is a priest for the church. If From the word go in the Bible, if you look at the ministry of Jesus, there is a priest for the state and there is a priest for the church. And that these things, I mean, these two are very distinct. You know, they are very, they are two very distinct entities, very two different entities. And uh, they need each other. You know, they need each other. And each one one of them have their prayer, they are all to pray in a nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So there was a warning from the heart of God last year, you know, because of the, the way things were going, that the church would be adulterated, you know, if it does not, you know, become cautious of the season in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, and, uh, you know, the Spirit of God, as I was writing the notes, the Spirit of God told me, you know, the voice of the church would be muzzled. You know, the voice of the church would be muzzled. So the voice of the church, you you know, should be able to arise and correct things that are not godly, that are not godly. Because in the nation of Kenya, we have a voice. We, the church is there. We have a voice. I know there is a foreign church. I know there is, uh, you know, there is that part of the, that is fallen. But the body of Jesus Christ in the nation of Kenya, the remnants of God's people, the church is still uh, is the body of Jesus Christ is still whole, is still whole. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm preparing the nation of Kenya that for the uh, for the next two years, that is from October 2023 up to December 2025. Um, and I want to read for you some scriptures as I say what the Lord has told me to say. Can I, can we go to Jeremiah? Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremiah chapter 29, uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, scriptures that we love. Um, 
uh, the Bible says Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 10, Jeremiah 29 and verse 10, the Bible uh, uh, 10 and 11, for thus says the Lord, after 70 years are completed at Babylon. So these are God's people after 70 years are completed in Babylon. I will visit you and perform my good word towards you. I will visit you. God is promising. So there, there is a timeline. There is a timeline that, that had to be, I mean, that had to elapse for, for the children of God in captivity in Babylon. And after that, you know, that was a timeline. God had a timeline with them. You know, God had, you know, had an original purpose for these people. But then, because of whatever happened to them and with them, they found themselves as captives in Babylon. So that, that season, God gave it a timeline. And uh, the Bible talks about 70 years. God was very categorical. This one, there is, I cannot, I, I know the bible says um you know this season has to be completed i will visit then after that the bible says so in the course of the 70 years no the bible says after 70 years i will visit you and perform I will visit you and perform, you know, my good word towards you and cause you to return to this place. Hallelujah. And cause you to return to this place. Hallelujah. You know, listen to this after 70 years. So there is a timeline. Even if you fasted and prayed, there's a timeline because of, of what? Because of what happened so that the, the people of God may find themselves in captivity for 70 years. Hallelujah. So when they found themselves there, God gave them 70 years. So until the 70 years were over, you know, God would not visit them and do his, and perform or do, you know, his good towards them, you know, and cause them to return to where they're supposed to return. Hallelujah. So I want to prepare the nation of Kenya. If you read verse 11, the scripture that we know, for God is telling them, for I know, no, finish your term, finish your season in Babylon. Learn what you're supposed to learn. Go through what you're supposed to go through. You know, go through what you're supposed to go through. Hallelujah. And then after that, I will come and perform my good, I know, amongst you. Hallelujah. For I know the, the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope hallelujah so i'm preparing the nation because of this diversion that has entered into the into the nation unless god does otherwise and unless uh you know the nation shapes up with a with a, like an emergency unless the authorities of the nation fit into the purpose and to the agenda of God. The nation of Kenya will go through something for the next two years. That is from October 2023 all the way to December 2025. In the course of the two years beginning because uh, October 2023 is a prophetic gate. I've been telling you that before and I've spoken about that. So um, may, may the nation may experience pain. The nation may experience pain. The nation may experience a lot of cry of uh, de desperation. The nation may experience a lot of regrets. We are going to begin hearing that this one is not going far from this 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 uh, this video. We are going to see here some people regret from so many quarters. They will regret. You are going to hear regrets. I hear the spoke God say the nation will be filled by regrets. People will regret. So many people are going to regret why we voted one, two, why we woke up early, why we did one, two, three. So a lot of regret is going to be had in the nation of Kenya because of that spiritual diversion. Because of the spiritual diversion that has come to the nation of Kenya, we are going to experience as a nation that does not mean that God is not a father. That God is not seeing. God has a remnant. And I, I, I want to encourage the remnants of God's people. The people who have stood strong from the foundation and from the beginning. You know, the people who have said it as it is and lived it as it is supposed to be lived. According to the counsel and the purpose of God for the prophetic destiny of the nation of Kenya. It shall be well with you. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 10 comforts you. The Bible says, say to the righteous, it shall be well with them for they shall eat the fruit of their deeds. Hallelujah. So in the, in the course of whatever God is going to do, because let me tell you, each one of us will carry their own cross. You know, because of what, what, you know, the season the nation is, is about to, uh, to enter into or has, or has already entered into. 
Because number one, I told you the other day, because of selfishness, self, selfish ambitions, selfish ambitions, you know, and uh, because of this, we are going to see the nation go through, you know, uh, and uh, in, through, um, you know, a, a, a process that is not going to be very rosy in in, uh, in some quarters, and uh, you know, all of us being citizens, we are going to, you know, to see it, hear it, and to, to experience it. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, oh my God! And I hear the spoke God say, "Where I'm seated in the course of." what is going to happen in the in the course of the two years um beginning from October, you know, 2023, God is raising the right priesthood in this nation, a priesthood that he has been preparing for himself. We are going to see the restoration of the true prophetic voice in the nation. We are going to see the, the restoration of the true apostolic, you know, office in the nation of Kenya. People who are not going to be compromised, people who cannot be diverted by anything, people who will start as a voice of God, people who will start as the counsel, you know, to give the counsel of God, without minding you know what people will think or how people are going to see it you know hallelujah so in the course of this now we are going to see that you know the restoration so it is not all us god is still working things out because why what god has said concerning kenya will come to pass no matter who and no matter what in the name of jesus hallelujah so let the true let the, let the true priesthood that that can reach the president and his deputy face them and tell them the truth the direction that the nation is going right now is not okay. The people who can reach them, I'm just doing it in my small way where I'm seated. The people who can reach Mama Recho and Mama Dorcas, let them be told on the face, the nation is not going the right direction. Hallelujah, the people, the true priesthood who can lead these people, tell them you have diverted from the cause that says the Lord. You are not go ahead in the right direction for the nation of Kenya. You are not pursuing the agenda of God for the nation that God gave you through prayer to be to lead. Hallelujah. So uh and uh this situation can be rescued. If we have the right the right uh, representation of the church, but the people who go for prayers in the state house don't just go for prayers, don't just go for prayers. Uh, look at the state of the nation, spiritually and physically addressings, even as you pray, because let me tell you, anytime God has like Esther, anytime God has given you a position or a you know um. And you know, uh, um, an opportunity, an opportunity to appear before the King Esther. You're not going there for your personal agenda and personal personal deals. You are going there for the sake of your people. God has given you that position for the sake of your people. So we don't see Esther, you know, pushing forth for her agenda. Actually, the king is saying, even if it is half of my kingdom that you need, it will be given to you. No, Esther is not after you know something self, you know, selfish. You know, you know, some, something personal. It's about the destiny of my people. Hallelujah. So let the people, I want to repeat this. Let the people who can reach Mama Recho, High Excellency, and Mama Dorcas, let them be told the truth. Anybody who can reach our president, we honor him and we are praying for him daily. Anybody who can reach him, anybody who can reach, uh, you know, our, our deputy, let them be told there's a spiritual diversion in the nation. And what we you now, what is spilling out now is not, I mean, as an um, godliness, what is spilling out and what we shall see as a result of this are things that will cause pain, a lot of cry and a lot of regret and a lot of regret. Hallelujah. And uh, the end may not be very, may, may not be very rosy, but uh, the grace period of that, uh, of the government of Kenya is three years. Kaidre, shape up, shape up, shape up, uh, because after three years, it may be something very different. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that because God has entrusted us with one, two, three things. We don't want to talk about it. But let there be, you know, let, let, let the government of Kenya know it is God who allowed. There were so many people, you know, I think you are about four of you, but God allowed you and you attributed that to prayer and you attributed it to God. So go back, go back to the, to the drawing board, the original purpose of God, go back to there. And that's why I'm talking about, uh, you know, when people are hearing, you know, counsel from people who are purporting to be speaking for God, but the result we can see is something very different. So my prayer is, 
may the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy. So uh, now good news, uh, you know, and I've been preparing us, even as I prepare us this night, that we are going to begin seeing, if you have not begun seeing it, even in your, in, in a, in a, in family levels, we are now this time around, there's no, people have come afraid for a very long time. People have hidden even in the church for a long time. The first priesthood, even in Kenya, have hidden for a long time. But this time around, we, God is going to cause people now come out as who they are in reality. So there is nowhere to hide anymore. So we are going to see the true colors, people behaving in their true colors and coming out in their true colors in the country so good news is that you no know, after a short moment like what we are seeing here in the book of jeremiah you know the 70 years that's a short moment you know and of course there are people who had died who could not see them now as god was coming to perform his good you no know, there are people who are not there so good news that after a short moment uh god will intervene by his own masses and uh you know as he is doing this you know he has done this before as we have read from the word of god and he's also going to do it in the nation of kenya because why in the nation of kenya we have the preordained purpose of god for the sake of the nation and uh, you know Jerem i mean uh, isaiah chapter 55 the word of god is very clear when what the word of god has come out of his mouth it can never go to him void back to him void it has to accomplish his purposes and so the nation of kenya you know we may go through a moment that is not very good but as we continue praying and interceding and, and i'm requesting this coming week you know for the people who love god the people who love kenya and the people who love god you know take some three days of prayer and fasting you can do it monday tuesday and wednesday you know, team up with us, take some days of prayer and fasting. Let us seek God for mercy. Let us seek God for the heart of our president, you know, to, to be led by the Spirit of God so that he can be aligned, you know, to the purpose, to the now purposes of God without any push from anywhere. You know, he can seek God and desire to know, you know, from the true servants of God who will tell him the truth. Not people who are out for any other gain, but people who would just face him and tell him the truth. And why, why I'm saying this is because also of the destinies of his children to the fourth generation. Yeah, that is it. Hallelujah. Because God is a generational God. So, um, uh, so uh, God is going to clear away for his purposes and the help of Kenya will come um, you know, from God's own sources. The help of Kenya will come from God's own sources. After the short time, uh, the help of, of God will come uh, for Kenya. I mean, the help of Kenya will come, you know, from God's own sources. And uh, too much, and uh, what, what you're going to begin seeing from today is uh, too much discontent, discontent, <laughs> discontent, discontenting, you know, uh, discontent contentedness hallelujah you know people are, are, are going to be uh to to to, to uh, you know uh people are not going to be contented you know there's going to be a lot of discontentedness hallelujah people are, are, are going to you know not to be contented you know so you're going to see that in the lot and this will cost will cause too much noise in the days ahead this will cause will cause too much noise in the days ahead and that's why i've been preparing us you're going to see uh, some people resign from some some influential positions you are going to see uh, tribes now gunning up again and, and you're going to see a lot of noise because i told you there's a wood that was not healed in the first regime i mean in the last regime and uh, you know it, it is oozing something it has already begun oozing something that is not very good so and i didn't want us to pray against the slogan i'm hearing the spirit that has been there for to one against one you know for to one against one tribe I, I i can we pray against that and that the people uh, let us pray against this. Let us pray against this. This thing has uh, has been there, you know, for so many, uh, you know, for so many, uh, you know, years. Let us pray against this. We don't need a repetition of whatever, we, wherever we are coming from. Let us let all the tribes in Kenya know that we are one. We are we are we are one nation. We are one people. We are one people. We are we are. Well, the government is one. You know, we have one nation. We don't have two nations. Let us uh, avoid tribalism. Let us avoid tribalism. We don't want slogans of whatever has been there before repeated. Now, chapter 1 and verse 9, the Bible says, God will bring it into another end. Affliction shall not return a second time. So we don't want any loophole created in our now, you know, that will create, you know, a loophole, you know, a, you know, or an opportunity for us to go back to some things we are coming from because it is not warranted. And uh, as a church of Jesus, I'm not talking about them, the whoever's, you know, is church. I'm talking about the lemnas 
house of God's people. Let us arise to the occasion and arise and make this rule pause. We are well capable, you know, we are well able to. We are not capable, we are well able to in a praise of prayer by the grace of God and the authorities of the day that they get the right counsel. I've been praying from the beginning, from the time this government came into power. May God connect them with the now or the current prophetic voices, the current apostolic voices, because why? That is what they need. That is what they need. Not the whatever has been there, whatever they need now, because the season, I mean, the nation of Kenya is in a new season, is the current prophetic voices and the current apostolic voices. That's all what they need in their lives to get the right counsel from the heart of God. Hallelujah. So uh, uh, history is about to repeat itself, and uh, I've been preparing us for this. There's a history that is about to repeat itself, but I'm, I'm saying this so that the church may be able to counter this as it was in the last five years of the last regime, you know, and, uh, and uh, since that wood was not healed, that wood was not healed. So that there's a history there that is about to repeat itself. But if the authorities of the day get the right counsel, we, we are able to escape this so that the nation may be healed by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. And that as, as, as these things are being repeated, it will be said it is for the welfare of the nation. But at the end of, at the, of the day, it will cause a lot of discontentedness, hallelujah, and a lot of pain that is not necessary in the name of, I mean, that is not necessary. Hallelujah. So uh, let us arise. So what is the solution? I said I'll give a solution at the end of the day. So what is the remedy? What is the solution? Let us arise. Let us arise. Rikata Ramazia. Ramazika Dorobozaya. Let us arise. Hallelujah. And repent. You know, and repent. Let us fast and pray for God's mercy over the nation. Let us repent. Let us arise. Let us arise to be counted. Let us repent. Let us fast. Let us pray for God's mercy over the nation. Let the people who can reach our, our beloved President Ruto and his deputy and their wives, our excellencies, our mothers, Rachel and uh, Dorocas, let them be told the truth. It is not well in the nation. It is not well. It is not well. So we are going to, and because of that, we are going to have so many casualties or, you know, from this, we are going to have so many casualties from this. Number, number two, uh, Kenya must fulfill the God's preordained purpose in this generation. It is a must. That one is a must. That one is, and that's why there are going to be so many casualties because Kenya has to fulfill her God's preordained purposes in this generation. So because of that operation of God, there, there are going to be so many casualties. There are going to be so many casualties. That means God will clear a way for his purposes in the Lord. Hallelujah. God will clear a way for his purposes in the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I speak to the nation of Kenya, I'm also speaking uh, one sentence or two to the continent of Africa. For the continent of Africa. Let us be very careful. There is um, a lolling out. You know, when we enter to year 20 year 20, uh, 2015 uh, year 2015 the spirit of god said um the world has entered into a season of biochemicals and we are going to see a uh, human uh bodies maintained or controlled by chemicals and we have seen the rolling out of so many other things so i want to prepare the continent of africa particularly the continent of africa because of what we have and who we are particularly in these end times we are going to see a rolling of a, a much of that and I want to say this in a parable. We are going to see much of that operation targeting the children, targeting the children five years and below. We are going to see much of that targeting the generations of our young children. So let us remain prayerful. Africa, let us main, remain prayerful. Why I'm releasing this portion of the word here is because Kenya is a father nation in Africa. And the devil knows when I have been able to penetrate Kenya, it is easy, it is easy for me to penetrate other nations in Africa. Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, those are key nations in the continent of Africa. Uganda and, uh, you know, and, and Ghana, they are key nations, they are prophetic gates in the continent of Africa. So as a further nation, we must, I'm saying this so that the intercessors may be on the lookout, not everything coming as our help from here and there is for our good. Anything that is happening in these end times has a purpose and it has a reason. 
I leave that parable there. Let everybody in the spirit get it out and be able to pray for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are well able. We are well able. President, uh, our, our Excellency, President William uh, Samoy Ruto, your wife, our mom, Excellency, Mama Rachel, and your deputy, His Excellency, Regardi uh, Gashagwa, and uh, uh, our mama, Excellency, your Excellency, Mom uh, Dorcas. I may not be able to reach all of you. I'm, I'm actually, I don't have any access to reach you where I'm seated. But I release this word. I know there are two, three people who follow me and they can pass this word. The spell of God is not happy. There is a diversion from the spiritual agenda of God or the prophetic agenda of God of the reason why God, through prayer, he gave you the presidency. And the diversion is causing other things covered up in the church now throwing and, uh, and spilling up from, from and connected with our state house, you know, and connected to the church that are not very, very godly. Stand strange fires in the nation that are not supposed to be penetrating the nation of Kenya. I leave that word there because why? The help of this country will come from God's own sources. But there is, a, there is an opportunity. If we hear this word, we arise, repent fast and pray and listen to the counsel of God. God is merciful. The Bible says he's, uh, you know, he's, he's merciful. He is able to, you know, to rescue us and create the diversion if we genuinely repent and seek for his counsel. Because the Bible says the Spirit of God will teach us all things and the Spirit of God endures us forever. So we are able to get the download from the Spirit of God of the purpose of God for the nation. It's not just leading. In Kenya, it's not just leading. It's not just waking up and making a decision. It's not that way in Kenya, no. Because why? Kenya has a prophetic agenda and assignment from the heart of God in these end times. The nation has an agenda in the heart of God. Hallelujah. God bless you. I have nothing else to add. Hallelujah. Just allow me to pray. Oh, Hallelujah. Father God, you are a father to us as a nation. You are a father. You are a father to us. Because of your word that is hanging over the atmosphere of this country, I prayed for your mercy this morning. On this 16th day of October 2023, Father, I seek for your mercy. I seek for your mercy. I pray for the heart of the king in the nation. Jehovah God, the heart of our president. The Bible says that the heart of the king is ordered of you. Minister to our president this morning. Minister to his heart. Minister to his mind. Minister to his wife. Minister to the deputy and his wife. Minister to everybody working with them, Lord. All their advisors, Father. Minister to them. If there be any enchantment, if there be any divination, if there be any ungodly counsel around them, and they are following, thinking it is your counsel, Jehovah God, I counter it this morning by the prophetic word that has come from your mouth over the nation of Kenya. Father, have mercy over this nation. Have mercy, Lord. We have allowed you, Father, to clear a way for your purposes in this nation and to do what you alone can do so that the destiny of this nation may be rescued by your mercies in the name of Jesus. We shield our nation from any external interferences 
Father, we create our nation. Jehovah, if there be any covenant, if there be any document signed or written, my God, if there be any agreement that was entered into by any person outside this country, my God, through the kings and the queens of the world that can cause a diversion that is reign a demand, my God, a legal demand against the destiny of the nation of Kenya, my God, I I counter that. I counter that. I counter that. My God, any agreement, whether verbal confession or a decree or declaration that was made in any meeting anywhere in the world through other authorities and to other authorities, my God, to divert the cause of the agenda of God in the nation of Kenya, I counter that by your purposes in the nation and by what you have purpose for the destiny of the nation of Kenya. Father, we stop that. Any legal ground the devil can, can have as a loophole, any legal demand the devil can have as a loophole, we counter that. And my God, we are meeting all of them by your word and prayer this morning. And by the virtue of the blood of, of the new covenant, the blood of the Lamb of God, we are declaring the wellness of, of your agenda, my God, the wellness of your purpose in this nation, in the name of Jesus. Father, I heal my nation this morning. I heal my nation. I heal my nation. Father God, any foreigner, whether a king or a queen, whether a president or an, an authority, coming from whichever nation, my God, an ambassador, my God, coming to the nation of Kenya, maybe to renew any covenant, to renew any agenda, my God, to renew anything that is not to you, Father, we nullify that this morning. We nullify that. Jehovah God, any president from whichever nation, anybody, whether an ambassador, whether a co an, an envoy, my God, anybody, Jehovah God, coming to the nation of Kenya with any other agenda or purpose, whether a businessman or woman, any other purpose, any other agenda, uh, because they have a legal ground, a legal demand, king of all glory, anybody who may have taken our soul, my Jehovah, and uh, done whatever they may have done or covenanted the nation of Kenya to their kingdom, which is against the kingdom of God. We nullify all those missions today in the name of Jesus and my Father. Anywhere our state house is connected to, underground or whichever, any kind of a connection, whether, my God, whichever, internationally, locally, my God, we sanctify that, that home. We sanctify the state house today and we covenant it back to you. There is no any other operation that can work and have a legal ground in our state house apart from that which is of your agenda. We nullify all those, my God, all those illegal ground. We nullify them. We stop them. Any blood covenant in the nation that is laying a demand, any marine covenant that is laying a demand, any witchcraft covenant that is laying a legal ground over the nation, we nullify them this morning by the blood of Jesus. We nullify all of them today in the name of Jesus and my Father, from this morning, we set our nation free. We set our nation free. Kenya, we set you free. We cut every demonic cord. We cut every demonic cord that is reigning a demand, a legal, a, a, legal, a legal demand in whichever quarter and from whichever quarter against the purpose of God in this nation. Father, from today we declare if the, the government that was given authority by you through prayer, aligns itself to that which is your purpose and agenda for the nation. Jehovah God, you will walk with them. You will walk with them. I pray for your mercy upon them and their children. I pray for your mercy. Master Lord, I pray for your mercy. Speak to them in a language they'll understand. Say to them the true prophetic voices this morning. Connect them with true apostolic voices. People will tell them the truth as it is. So that, my God, even the generations of their children may be rescued by your mercies in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We worship your name. 
as a nation of Kenya this morning. Rika tarama zika yandolobo zia. Rima zika yandolobo zeketa rima mazaya. Oh, sharama zika tarama zika yandolobo zaya. Rima mazika yandolobo zika yandolobo zia. Rika tarara zeketa rima yandolobo zia. Oh, sharama zika tarama zaya. Rika tarara zika yandolobo zia rama. Oh, shirama zika tarama zeketa rima zia. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, it does not matter who has diverted in the church from the cause. My God, it does not matter. I prayed for your mercy. I prayed for your mercy. Mercy, Lord. I prayed for your mercy. I refuse selfishness, agenda, and ambitions, my God, in our government, in every sector, Lord. And I prayed for your mercy in this nation. Father, I heal my nation. And I prayed for your mercy. In your wrath, God, remember mercy. In your wrath, remember mercy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I destroy every sacred covenant. Oh, Zikatara Mahandorobosia. Every sacred covenant, every sacred agreement that is not in line with your purpose, God, in the nation of Kenya, I nullify it this morning by your word that is already a, a spiritual push for the sake of the destiny of the nation of Kenya. Master Lord. Master Lord, mercy. Father, you had promised us last year from the month of October, the economy of the nation of Kenya will begin recovering. But because of the diversion that has come in, my God, reading my God, it may not be so. But my Father, because your word is forever settled in heaven, I plead for your mercy. You had asked us to be patient with the current government. So that God, you may counsel them, read them, and my Father, arrange them. Father God, thank you. Because we cannot arm twist you. You're not like a son of mine to lie. You're not a son of mine to lie. Lord, I'm pleading for your mercy. I'm pleading for your mercy in this nation. Father said to our president this morning, people will tell him the truth and nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that your angels are going to encamp around the nation of Kenya. A diversion can cause unnecessary, unnecessary attacks in a nation that was not meant to be attacked. Father, I prayed for your mercy this morning. I prayed for your mercy. I prayed for your mercy. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is all over where I'm sitting. Rikata Ramahando Robosia. Rima Zekete Ramahando Robosia. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Let your Holy Spirit, Lord, hover all over this nation, beginning from our state house to every corner. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Some decisions may be difficult for Mama Rachel and uh, our mom, Dorocas, because they may not know what to do. But Lord, I pray for your mercy, this nation, and my father this morning. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Mercy. In the name of Jesus. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. I outdo, I undo every judgment that has been passed in Kenya that may cause pain, that may lead the nation to ungodliness. I counter that in the name of Jesus. 
when I spoke to Africa about children five years and below. Yesterday, I was hosting a meeting somewhere, and as I was as I was traveling, the spell God opened my eyes to see something that will be done. Or oh Lord, I you know the spell God told me there's something that will be rolled out. And it will be, you know, it will be termed as if it is for welfare of the children in Africa. But this one will cause our young children, very young children, become sexually active in a very young age. And the Spirit of God opened my eyes to see the agenda of the enemy is to increase immorality through sexual sins in the, in the continent of Africa. Something is about to be rolled out. It will come in Africa as if it is for welfare of our children. And it will cause the young children to be sexually active in a very young age. And the agenda of the enemy is to cause them sexually active in a very young age. A very young age. I leave that word there. I speak as the Lord has allowed me to speak. I leave that word there. Let those people who hear what the Spirit of God is saying, know how to pray and what to do for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. God bless you.